Not bad. Not bad? Not bad. That's his fault. That's not. How do you think a new fucking Vin Diesel in a fucking Fast and the Furious movie, mate? We're off to the airport to hopefully catch a flight to Sydney. Mm -hmm. Have you heard of news? Apparently, Sydney airports like shut a lot of their runways. What? So, like, a lot of their flights are getting cancelled. You're kidding. Yeah, we've tried to ring up and see if we still got a flight, but no one will answer our question, so. Oh my god. This could <laughs> be a real interesting vlog soon. Um, so, yeah, hopefully, we're going to catch a flight to Sydney tonight. Um, but it's Friday today. The team starts getting their tans up at the New South Wales IFA B show. They all weigh in and register tomorrow, and then shows on Sunday, so. We've got to go up tonight and fucking try have a look at Nathan and Nathan's got to make a weight class so we're having a little bit of issues trying to get his weight down. His body seems to be playing stubby, stubborn buggers with it so we're up there and try to work out how to get his weight down. This morning he woke up at about 71.4 which like that had me feeling confident because like 1.4 kilos not too hard to come off but today his body's going to put on another 1.2 kilos even though we're eating minimal food and body must be stressed out so we need to work out how to fucking just get the body doing its shit fucking joys yeah so when I get to the airport I jump on the phone to Nathan and just go through like well, what's been going on how he's feeling try to piece together why his weight's going up like what are our options in terms of cutting the weight um well because he gets his first coat of tan at 8 30 to 9 so we got a couple of options before there to start pulling weight off him but then we got to make sure we can keep the weight down so like we're gonna have to start sweating it out it, but like we need to try and work out why his weight's going up to start with like re really he's got fuck all food going in today we kept it very minimal to try to give his guts a break and he's had very minimal water considering what he normally would so why his weight's gone up pretty much 1.4 kilos now in like well it's 3 p.m now so since this morning when his weight should actually be doing the opposite it's just his body's stressed and fucking holding on to everything he's got. So we need to work out what's going on. Like, do we just need to send him for a fucking sleep? Do we need to put him in a bath? Like, how do we get him to relax and just get his body to release that weight? Because if like, if we'd have him at anywhere in the seventies, so like anywhere under seventy-one by tomorrow morning, we can always fucking use a sauna, um, get out in the sun, do shit like that in order to pull like to a kilo of water off him. But the problem is at the moment, because he's up at like 72.6, that's a lot of weight to try to pull out in a sauna. Now it can be done, but the amount of stress we're gonna have to cause to him then, it's very risky as to what that's gonna look like on stage the following day. So we need to just get his body to release that, whatever's stressing it out, just and get it to release that weight. Like his weight this morning was looking good. It's just his body's stressed out. I'd say he's also getting in his own head too. Like Nathan's a pretty high, like, very wired dude so probably very much getting his own head about why his weight's going up and I would imagine that stress is probably leading to it as well half the reason we're coming up here on Friday because we knew this would happen and this is a bit of a new experience for us too like we, we have actually um, never really had an athlete we had to make weight and then hold a full day to put them on stage like normally when we're pulling weight off people you, you just start fucking filling them up with water and shit afterwards so hence why James is coming up too because this is kind of a while you sort of learn about it all it's like when you actually work it in person and things start fucking backfiring and you gotta think on your feet at least there's two of us like to bounce ideas off each other and try and work out what's going wrong what's gonna be the best plan of attack so coming up here early to try and make sure we nail that because we really don't want to fuck it Fuck it, mate. It's not going anywhere. <laughs> we got a lot of weight in the back. I think you still got me. 
you, Mr. Thornhill. What was that? <laughs> There's a lot of weight in the back of the car. Uh, so we'll check in with a couple of athletes tonight. One of them being... Nathan and Sheila. Nathan and Sheila. See how they're looking. Keys will make the assessments. Oh yeah, I turned that on before. Oops. Give it to her. Thanks. So what do you think of the car's haunt? You oh, fucking do it. Wow. Two for lunch. Mate, just remember who goes to bed. So just, sort of, just for the viewers. James is suffering this right now because he seated me in between him and Keegan on the flight. Mate, you're as happy as a pig in shit. How could you know? You're asleep the whole time. I can feel you cuddling up to me. <laughs> no, that was me <laughs> trying to push you over. <laughs> Oh, this what one gear are we in? I don't know. <laughs> I thought it was an auto. Because <laughs> you were fucking playing with it before. I touched the handbrake. Yeah. I didn't touch the shifter. In one. We were in manual mode before. Uh. Now we're in. Oh, we're in sports mode. <laughs> <laughs> That's his fault. That's not. How long does it take to take a selfie? Awesome. I'm filming. Oh, nice kitchen. Some nice, nice digs you got here, James. Yeah, that's everywhere. Nice room. Some optimal down lighting here, a little mirror. Are we gonna do a pose off? I reckon we slide this table that way attached and then they can pose here. You boys can stand back here and watch. And then that way they've got the mirror. Cool story, bro. Thanks, busy. Okay. Should I put this in your room case? Oh, I'm gonna get on the bed out of the car. Oh, okay, cool. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> you just wanted to wheel it around the corner, didn't you? Too much. So you still got two of those meals to get down today? I've got my lamb heart meal. What? My lamb heart meal. Lamb heart. Lamb heart. So chicken heart and lamb heart? Yep. Why do you... Why do you rotate between chicken and lamb heart? Different sources of protein. Oh. We're also just sitting on the same thing every now. So Sheila and Nathan are coming over. Yeah, I'll make it back from Nathan, but yeah, Sheila and Nathan come night. Jake had night shift last night, so we had two hours sleep, so he's gone to sleep and had catches in the morning. So Sheila's coming to sort of see how she's looking because I've given her a three-day carb up. But I went pretty mild to the carb, so I've just got to see how she's looking and whether she needs more carbs tomorrow or we like kind of pull everything back and just sort of cruise up. Nathan, we just got to see how it's going. Like he made weight, um, we put him in the sauna. He spent, he's done about two hours in the sauna doing 15 minute rotations, got 15 minutes in coming out. He's done about two hours in the sauna on 15 minute rotations. Um, and we literally pulled 2.8 2 kilos off him. So tonight we're kind of drip, drip feeding him water. He'll blow back over the weight a little bit in the morning, but like see how well relatively easy the water came out of him. Um, tomorrow morning we'll actually throw them back in the sauna and they just said here they've got one of the saunas that James reckon works best. Open at 5 a.m. in the morning, so we'll get him in the morning and put him in the sauna. With the dry one that you were mentioning earlier? Mm. Mm. Yeah, so we'll get him in that and we'll probably try to pull him down like he's weighing, he's got to be under 70, so we'll probably, like just to be safe, just in case scales are out and shit like that, we'll probably try to get him down to like 69. And then like we literally, I think weighing's about 11 o'clock tomorrow morning, so he'll literally be like, fuck all water, hold him through, once he gets to 11, we're then gonna map out his carb up and like start hydrating him a little bit, but not too much, because after pulling water out of someone, if we go too hard with the water, his body will just store it, and then he'll look like a watery mess on stage on Sunday, so we're gonna go sparingly with the water, but obviously enough to, you know, he can get a pump in that on day. So, yeah, but like, that's a big relief for me, because I was fucking stressing back in Melbourne when he was like 2.6 up, and his weight was just climbing today, I was fucking panicking, so. That's why James is here. He keeps me calm. Sometimes. And I keep <laughs> and I keep James calm. Hundred percent, Steve. Do I? No. Feel last show had to pull water. There was it? When you tried to pull water last time. Fine. 
Yeah. I, I, I do fine with water. I mm. don't really hold on to it. Because we're on the flat route, but we probably need to just pull a little bit off because that will help the skin tighten up a little bit. Yeah. Because you probably, like, you don't look like you're spilling over. But you probably. Because tomorrow we're going to show you how to rest, rest day diet, won't we? Yeah. No, I'm going to pull the water out. Do you have any meals left for tonight? No. Unless you want to slip one in there. We're probably going to put something in there. What's going on? What meal? You know, you're going to lose your smart by tomorrow. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> do like. So it's like less stomach volume. And just do like a. You can even get minimal protein. Mm -hmm. So you do. Uh, like 80 grams of that. You already eating watermelon and pineapple tonight? Yeah. Uh, just, I'm just tonight. I want to have more carbs tonight so I can not load tomorrow. Do you, so, do you like rice cakes, honey, banana? Do you have rice cakes, honey, and banana? Yeah, cool. So, t tonight, because it's going to settle tomorrow, you got more of the rice flour? Yeah, I do another like 35 grams of that. That gives you another. Oh. What do you have at home? I brought oats, mm -hmm. protein powder, rice flour. That's it. That's all I got, and I was gonna get the rest tomorrow. Yeah, that's it. I'd, I'd probably do like 40 grams of the rice flour tonight. Yeah. Because that's gonna give you about 30 grams of carbs going in tonight. Yeah. On top of what we've already done. But like, we're just keeping the food volume fucking minimal. Like, every meal's small, so you'd be nice and flat through the stomach. We've got about 124 grams of carbs going in. Yes. Yeah, I've increased your fats a little bit just to help hold it all in there. And then, yeah, well, we'll check on you throughout the day. So, cool. Oh, Nathan and Jay coming here in the morning anyway. So, in the morning, we'll come look at you. Yeah. And we'll um, see how it's all going in. We'll then catch up um, as you're about to get your tears of registration there. Yeah. Um, we'll just make sure you don't look like you're spilling over. Because if you do, I'll just rip the carbs out at the end of the day. Yeah. And then, yeah, like pretty much after that, you just go home and chill the fuck out. Two and a half kilos today. <laughs> That's hectic. <laughs> oh, no. That's so Oh man, I wasn't thinking, I didn't think I was going to do it, hey, and I was just telling Keegs, it was like 70.6, and I was just doing 15 minutes, like you guys said, mm -hmm. and then I went, fuck it, I'm staying in there, I'm doing it again, I'm hitting it again, and then I, what did I get down to? It was 69.8, 69.8 or something, yeah. so that's, what's that two and a half kilos? Today? You lost 2.8, it's in the two hours. Just in, in water. What's the plan for tomorrow, what do you reckon? We'll, we'll get you just to weigh yourself first thing in the morning, so then we can kind of work out like, if you're up a kilo. Well, we know we're probably gonna need about an hour and a half in the sauna. Yeah. We checked here, they've got a good sauna here as it opens at five in the morning. So if your weight's right up, we've got the sauna for five in the morning if we need. You've yeah. been floating up weight by like how much? Over the night, you've been going up normally about 600 grams. Yeah, it's been going up at night. Yeah. yeah but so I've been drinking water at night time, but mm -hmm. that's, that's the thing, like tonight I'll control it, keep it down and just try and- Cause you're gonna go through about two liters of a night though. Yeah, yeah, easily. If you can keep it very, very like literally nothing. Well, he's only for so far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that way you shouldn't float up that much. Whenever I piss, just have a mouthful. Oh, oh, I probably won't even do that, man. I'd I, I would, like, you do, you, 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 you want a little bit to keep going in, so I'd probably go, like, yeah, just like a mouthful if you want to measure it out, like 75 mils every time you piss. Yeah. Just, yeah. It just, the water goes in, helps water come out. Yeah, if you want to maintain something. Yeah. And also, like, just preventing you fucking get lightheaded. Yeah. Mm. Do you drink coffee? Yeah. Yeah, just have like a double espresso in the morning or something. Yeah, that's normally what I'll do, yeah. yeah. Long, have a long black. Yeah, yeah just yeah, like a sweet. double espresso, like just real short. Oh, okay, make it. Just, yeah, 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 real yeah. thick, real light, and limited water and just shoot that down. Yeah, right. Go for a walk or something, that should hopefully get things moving. You just want to create obviously the width so you have the small waist. Yeah. And when you go into your quarter turns or any of your side symmetries, yep. instead of staying straight on, you have a slight angle out. So that way you're showing a little bit more glute and hamstring. Ah, uh, right, when, okay. When you twist in, yep. it makes your waist look smaller again. Yeah, okay. Uh, just finish the last 100ml of water. Like every time you go to the toilet, 75 or 100ml of water. Yeah. Just get that going a nice coffee in the morning, go for a walk, shoot as your weight. 
from that we can work out roughly how long we need a sauna and what time we need to meet her. Yeah. Should you wake before or like first thing as soon as I wake up, then Both. I can go for a walk or after the after the walk as well? Yeah, we'll just see what happens. Like, <laughs> right. is the weight go up or down and like what do we need to do? Yeah, we can work out what we do with the sauna. Yeah, like whether like, you know, is an hour gonna be enough there and we could maybe beat there at nine yeah. or like do we need two hours we'll meet there at eight. Like rice cakes, banana. Fl- fluid weighs not potassium sparing. No, but because he's been in the sauna, he's so dehydrated. Mm-hmm. You just want to make sure there's everything there, mm-hmm. so the electrolyte balance is sort of maintained. Yeah, how would you go like um, if we're starting to put water back in, just using Gatorades to replace the electrolytes? Like a zero Gatorade doesn't even have the. Well, you, you meant if you could even use a Gatorade as a, a little bit of a, the sugars and carbs in it, but you just don't want to blow out his gut. Mm. Uh, yeah, that's it for night. So she'll own Nathan. Um, we'll catch up with Jake tomorrow because he's been on night shift all week. So, like when I was last week and then today, he'd only had two hours sleep. So, I'll try not to even bother tonight. He's just not going to hit until he sees in the morning so he can map out what his day's going to look like, whether he needs more carbs or not. I think the boys register at 11, chicks register at 12, 1, I think Sheila said. So, we'll get all them and then send them all home just to chill out, lie down, do fuck all for the rest of the day. And, might mean, we get to chill out tomorrow afternoon. Ooh. Activities, James? Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. We have one of these. The pod ones or the um, an instant? Um, what do you want to do? Walk, get coffee. Back up there? There's a coffee shop on the way, isn't it? Yeah. Coffee. Morning. Hello. Just uh, to let everyone know, I was the first one up this morning. What time did you get up? Mm, about 5.40. Mm. Mm. What did you do? I walked around a little bit, I filled up a water bottle and then I went back to bed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Groceries and then check in with Nathan first. Uh, he- Nathan, I spoke to Nathan this morning, he was 69.9 so he was already just underway. We'll have sent him for a walk. Um, Has he been into the sauna this morning? No, nah, that's him waking up. So he's actually came down for the first time this week overnight. But we'll probably, we'll probably still need to pull about a kilo off him just so we're well underway. Sheila and Jaden won't hear from because they're down to come past here today so we'll check on them. Um, yeah, that's about it. We'll meet them down there at 11 a.m. to we can register them. So we need to touch up with Jake today? Yeah. Like, is he coming before you? Checks in or after he checks in? Well, I told him this is in the morning. Okay. This is a nice elevator, isn't it? Um, busy making dizzy already. <laughs> They pull water pretty quick. Pretty quick. Okay, cool. So it's coffee, okay? Yeah, fine. Yeah, sick. Yeah, so Speaking like a coffee. <laughs> <laughs> no, co- coffee's totally fine, and coffee will actually help water yeah. come out of you. Like same as tomorrow morning, if you want to do like a shot of coffee. Yeah, absolutely. And then t- even tomorrow, we don't completely stop water. Yeah, like we just drip feed it in. So yeah. like, if we can, if you're trying to get a bed, let's say about nine inch, probably cut the water off about seven inch. Yeah, and then from there, just every time you go to the toilet throughout the night, just like so that much in a cup, just like a mouthful. Just take a little bit. And then tomorrow, I said, we'll start with 100 mil um, an hour allowance. Yeah. And then depending how you feel throughout the day. So as soon as you start getting light, lightheaded and shit like that, just let me know. Yeah. Um, that way we'll actually up the water. And if you get, like, you've got the Gatorades. Yeah. Yeah, like, if you start getting lightheaded, what we'll do is we'll actually replace that 100 mil of water with 100 mils of Gatorade. Gatorade, yeah. Because the electrolytes will just knock it on the head. And... What about BCAs, the flavoring? Uh, I probably wouldn't. No, because it's no. not. Oh, I just, I don't know how to build a water, just shot it. No, like, to the, like today. Oh, today? Yeah. You're drinking it four litres. Yeah. Yeah, because she doesn't like drinking straight water. You ever do the diet high quarter? Yeah, yeah, like the, yeah, you got McCordy, you got McCordy. Yeah. I'd do that instead. Yeah. Um, greens, powders, things like that, stop all that too. Food powders should be fine. Yeah, that's really good. Oh, yeah, it's not going to hurt you today. Yeah, let's see. Yes, it was a good chip. Mm. That shit was good, she's laying, she got fucking lines all through her glutes and that. Mm. So, so this is about chilling her out, 
pour a little bit of water out tonight. But no, she looks good. She's pretty lean. So team, we are on the way to athlete registration. Yeah, I'm gonna meet Nathan and Jake there. Um, Nathan's well on the wait now, so he should be sweet way in and they gotta get their tans. Sheila's a little bit later, but she's pretty good. She's gonna send us photos throughout the day. And then now it's about starting to carb Nathan up and rehydrate him a little bit so he fills out, but try not to get too much water into him where he just starts holding it under the skin again. So the Sabo's a bit about just playing a juggling act. So we're gonna start quite mild with the water and the carbs. And then from there, we'll just assess after each meal what we need to change. We'll come back, get a meal, and we actually get to train and have a bit of a chilled afternoon biz. I had some last night and I'm like, oh, it's like, um, what's that fucking the stuff you take today? Melan melatonin. Yeah. Yeah, you pulled down quick today. But yeah, that's why you're so thirsty, man. But yeah, like, but there's about 500 mils in your bottle there. So, like, that'll get you the next two hours. But like now we're like weighed in, but like it doesn't matter where we push our weight up to. So we start the food going in, look at the water. Oh yeah, yeah. each time you take a meal, send the um, video you're posing through, and we'll just adjust if we need to. Easy man, we're looking good man. Absolutely. We got there, we got there busy. Take care mate, well done. Guy. And then we'll get him around like five, six tonight. And just take a bit of his posing, the same reason I side pose him because of kinky. And yeah. Uh, he's front double blind and I think he needs to take a little bit too. And, yeah. 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 But yeah, get your chair now and then just, just chill the Sabo. Nah. Like, lie down, watch a movie, fucking do as little as possible. Yeah. Alright, mm. sounds good. Easy. I'll well, see you then, see you later. Set it back, get towards the mirror. Yeah. Yeah, now step back. Yeah, that's what the ladies first. Do you know Duke on turns? He kind of, he kind of does a little bit shaky, but no one's showing. And face the mirror. And do the same sort of thing from the front. So there's Do you know how to do like a side chest? Like a... Yeah. Whoa. Jesus. <laughs> like, do you, you know just... what your legs look like? Oh, don't want to look at those. <laughs> you do you want to just drop your shorts? Yeah, right. We're <laughs> 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 just really throwing him in. He's like, I thought we were just hitting an arm session, boys. <laughs> Impressive. Yeah. yeah, so Jaden's cousin, so he's about to, about to turn 20, right? Yep. Yeah, and he wants to do his first show next year, so just giving James a bit of a look at him. For a 20 year old, he's got already some good foundations on his. A lot of 20 year olds don't have a chest and that. It's just solid to the back. He's got like a 20 kilo dead in front. 230, yeah. 230. <laughs> <laughs> I told you it makes you hate yourself, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Just over a year I've been in the gym. So for that it's pretty good. That is fucking good. He literally like when he started with me he was like 83. And he'd been sitting at 83 for a while and couldn't get up to 84. And then he's pretty much like for the first six weeks was putting on a kilo a week. What are we doing boys? Well, I'm um, recovering from a car ride with you. <laughs> I thought it was quite smooth, smooth car ride. Do some stress relief. I'll do some meditation before we train. Meditation, you reckon? I'd love to see you try and get your legs crossed, guys. Oh, they don't cross. <laughs> I'm trying to machine because this is like a close grip bench machine. But I ain't even oh. seen one. So naturally we've got to have a play on some new equipment. Do you like it? 
Not bad. Not bad? Not bad. Are we having fun? We are having fun, yeah. Keeping up with the big boys? Trying our best. Jesus Christ. Holy fucking shit. Well, that was fun. Was fun. Good hustle, boys. Was it busy? I had fun. You always have fun when you spend time while it's busy. Yeah, you're not wrong. A few moments later. Gonna do 75 grams of chicken, you're gonna do one banana and the rice cakes. Yep. That will probably be about four hours afterwards. Yeah. And then meal three, which will probably be closer, chick shows on the start of two. I reckon we're gonna run late for sure, but we'll, yeah. we'll assess how it's going on the day. So probably about midday we'll throw in 75 grams of chicken, 100 grams of pineapple. Yeah. Um, but that's pretty much gonna be all we drip feed into. Yeah. And then we can top it up on the day because we'll have like the Gatorades and the rice cakes and all that there to yeah, fill it up if we need to. But this is very minimal food, just go in and try to keep you flat. Yeah. Thirsty, man. I'm yeah. just, I'm, I'm really thirsty. Hey? I was just telling James I don't want, I just want water. Mm -hmm. Look at my mouth. Well, that's because you pulled four <laughs> litres out of yourself, man. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Do you want to show us pose? I was looking forward to the sock. <laughs> <laughs> When you hit that pose, imagine like you're trying to twist both your heels into the ground without actually twisting them. Because that, you imagine you're twisting the floor, switches your glutes and hamstrings on. Like pissing again a fair bit. Mm. This morning was like nothing. Hey, last night or well, yesterday was almost non-existent. Yeah, yesterday you pulled nearly three liters out yourself. The, this morning, enough for the piss and yeah, more. man. And then mm. and this afternoon when we went after Wayne, when we went to two fifty mils, mm -hmm. and I smashed that first one, the first lot with the water, mm. they started to bring it back on. So all well, night you'll be thirsty. Yeah. But I like, will still drip feed the water in. That's, see, that's going to be hard. That's well, it is. Like last night was too. That's where I, I drink two liters of a night. Mm. Every night, so 
Well, where did we go? Oh, Camperdown. Yeah, Camperdown. Charlie worked. Charlie's a trainer there. Yeah. Oh, is he? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, we went there. I've though. never been there. Charlie's been trying to get me out there for ages. Oh. Jimmy has said someone trained there on Instagram and went out. It's yeah, pretty sick. Yeah, apparently it's got a big open floor weights area. Yeah, it's huge, but then like, they've got like, they, their section are off and they've got these runs of mirrors down between all the sections, so it almost looks like little cattle yards. Oh. Like, yeah. there's some unique pieces too, like we tried one today that was actually like, try the close grip, try, um, close grip beds, but you stand and you've got the, like, the pad behind you, and this machine pushes out like a smith. Yeah, right. Should we have a look at Yeah. Let's so hit your front door. Yeah, that's why I chose that instead. Just strike your leg back on the one a bit further. So you yeah, like that. Back. Yep, and then just sink your heel in towards your bum. Mm-hmm. Yep, there you go. Squeeze your glutes, push your hips forward. There you go. Um, so we just had all the clients come in, check in before game day tomorrow. Yeah, Sheila, Nathan, and Jake, all to swim by. Um they're all good, like Nathan is the one we've got to keep the closest eye on because of how much water we pulled out of him to get him that weight. Like it was practically just over four kilos over 24 hours that he's dropped. So now as we start rehydrating him and getting the carbs in, it's just making sure that he's not getting soft with it. Because obviously when you pull a lot of water out, the body can overcompensate trying to hold water. So just trying to find that balance and active water going back in to fill out the muscles, but not feel like, you know, filling out underneath the skin. Um, Jake's a lot bigger and a lot leaner than last year. It was this time last year, we had wasn't it? I think so, yeah. Yeah, so like he's, over the last 12 months, he's added a fair bit of size. Like he's actually on stage about two kilos lighter than we had him last time, but visibly a lot bigger. So he's a lot more conditioned, um, and a little less drama going on in his life. And then Sheila, she's a little lean, she's got like glute lines, everything. So same thing, it's just getting them feeling good, they're all going to bed now, chilling out. Nathan's coming back about 8.30 tonight just to check after his last meal. But I doubt we'll really have to change much then. And then they're all gonna be down there at six in the morning getting their tan, so we'll meet them in there at eight o'clock and see how they're all looking, make any final tweaks we have to and just pretty much get them ready to start pumping up on that. Good. Sunday morning. Eight o'clock. It is eight o'clock, yes. And we're heading off to, uh, what was the place called? The University for the IFB, New South Wales, so. Mm. Do you roughly know the run sheet, like who's on first today? Um, I'm pretty sure Jake's on first with the Classic. And then Nathan will be not long after that with, um, first up he's doing the Novice under 85s and then he'll be doing the under 70s in the opens so we'll have him and then Sheila will be in the afternoon so so I'm going to show meant to start at two but we'll see because there's a lot of talk about this being like the biggest IFB show in history pretty much like there's 400 odd entries into the show so it could end up being a pretty late day so we'll see but Sheila should be on pretty early in the afternoon show so hopefully they get on stage around time and the day should run pretty smoothly but we will see so James, how did we sleep? Good, thank you, busy. How'd you sleep? Yeah, good. Pretty much up and out, huh? Huh? Pretty much up and out. Huh? Like up and then out. And we're going. Yes. As you start hardening up, you want to work out how many rollies and snakes and shit you want to give you a bite. Like, you're, like, you look at photos of you post training and pre training, the longer we pump you up, the harder and drier you're just going to get. Yeah. So we kind of want to allow a long pump up. So once I start getting the physique guys up, we'll start just getting the bands and we'll start slowly pumping you up. It just shows off your shape. 
I was about to mean, like your waist is tiny, your pop. On that, on that side, hey, just that, like I'll go, because that's my stronger side. Mm -hmm. Like calves as well. Mm -hmm. Calves, everything. Yeah, but in fact, your arm looks as thick as your waist. That's good. Right. No, it's a strong and it just, uh, brings out some the shoulder caps and everything in it too. Mm -hmm. eh? Yeah, yes. Yeah. Beast said the same thing too. He goes, "That's a fucking money shot." Yeah. Everyone said the same thing. That's mm -hmm. that's the best shot for sure. What far? Huh? Like, happy? Yeah, man. Hundred percent. Oh. Like literally, like once they call the cla like, um, class to do stuff going on, all the fucking D tens and yeah. stuff. Well, like quads are right then in the front poses too. They're yeah. split, man. So last last night, like just trying to turn them on, mm -hmm. like and hop and holding them there. And I think that's the biggest use of you said it, James. As soon as you start going into the other, they turn off. So I've got to fucking really just hold them on start tight. The base up. So as soon as you start in your pose, go through the, the, the feet. Yeah. So push the pressure and then kicks back out. Yeah, yeah, and just hold. hold. But the whole time in the pose, you literally like through your head, just go like legs, abs, upper body, legs, yeah. abs, upper body. You just keep making sure, wrong. most sure you connect a little more. Yeah. Well, Jake and Nathan have just finished. So Nathan got third in the novice under 85s. Probably got fourth in the under 70s. The under 70s was it's actually probably one of the better under 70 lineup that I've ever seen at one of these shows. Like, it was fucking stacked. Um, Jake did ride the classic, like, he was definitely better than the last time he was. Um, we've probably still got about an hour and a bit until the female show starts, so we're just about to check on Sheila, see how she's looking. And then, yeah, just get her starting to pump up in about an hour or so. Oh, yeah. So, for reference, we left the we left the competition venue at about we left five about, o'clock. Yeah, we left about five. So we got Sheila on stage for her first of the wellness, and then we had to get shooting for the airport. So flight was at eight, but we had to drop the car off and catch a shuttle. So we didn't want to risk missing the flight. While I was at the airport, I loaded everyone's reverse diets for him. And then, was it five to 10 now? Just landed, shoot home, get you home nice and safely, Biz. Mm -hmm. I'll go home and get a solid three and a half, four hours sleep, and I'm back into it tomorrow. Yeah, I'm thinking more like nine and a half. Maybe. I don't remember how when, when I last got nine and a half, mate. That's like three nights of mine. That's why, that's why you look like you and I look like me. Yeah, it's why, <laughs> why it cost me hundreds of dollars a week in fucking caffeine. Yeah. <laughs> nah, it was a good weekend, man. It was a very good weekend. Oh. 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 Oh.